Hi, it's Emily Leapart from Art from the Heart, and I'm here to show you a couple of clean and simple card designs where I altered the sentiment so that it's not in its original form. This way you can uh, play with your stamps and get a lot more mileage out of them. So I made a couple of cards here, both using Hero Art stamps, and they're very flat and easy to mail. This one is completely one layer, absolutely flat with no attachments. And this one, it has a bit of foam tape on it um, with the two buildings on the outsides and also the wood veneer people. Um, I'm going to show you how I made this one. It uses uh, a few Hero Art stamp sets, including two wood block stamps, the designer wood grain and the florets. And the sentiment is actually a combination of this one from Many Birthday Messages and uh, the word lovely from Heyday Sentiments. So I will peel these two stamps and get them ready. I usually put them down first and then use the grid to line it up. I've had a few questions about how I use two different colors for sentiments to make a certain word stand out, so this will also show how I do that. So I've trimmed out my cardstock and I'm going to ink up the florette stamp with soft blossom ink. I like to ink it up in one direction and then turn it 90 degrees and ink it again just to get good coverage. look at the bottom of the stamp to know where it's lined up. Make sure it's not completely off the edge of the page. Just press down evenly. So there's the flower. And I've actually cre pre-created a mask, the mask that, that I made for the first card and I always save all my masks in an envelope so I can use them again. This is especially helpful if you plan on creating uh, card sets or it's also very helpful for quick and easy cards when you're in a pinch and you don't have enough time to make a card and that really helps. So after I put the mask down I ink up designer wood green in soft stone. And for this, I just lay the cardstock on top. And then I put a piece of scrap paper on top and press down. And for the backgrounds, it's not as important to get clear and even ink coverage because that's not the focus of the card. At least that's how I think of it. Okay, so then we remove the mask. It's okay to rip it because it's sticky, so you can always just replace it easily. Okay, there we go. So there's that. So it's starting to look a lot like the original card here. And so now for the sentiment. What I do, so what I'm going to do is replace 
special with lovely and I use washi tape so I've bought a few colors that I'm not too fond of so these work really well for this and this strip is just slightly too wide so I'm going to trim off a little bit off the top And I'm going to cover the word that I don't want from the original stamp with the washi tape. It doesn't leave residue on the stamp when you peel it off. And it's just about the perfect medium for doing this, I find. So I'm going to use black because I'm going to overlay the sentiment on top of the florets. So I'm going to ink it up in black. You can either put the ink pad to the stamp just because it's harder to get an even inking when you when you have part of it covered. So make sure to peel it off before you ink. I've actually stamped onto the paper with the washi tape still on there and of course it leaves a big black blotch and you have to redo it. So I'm going to put my sentiment right here. Okay. And there it is and there's an empty space there for the word lovely. So if you use paler colors, you can actually use a brighter color for the word lovely, but since my flower is fairly dark, I'm going to use a dark blue to match the designer wood grain. So I'll ink that up now. And figure out the best place to put it and just stamp that on there. Oops, oh well, I'll get that later. Okay, so there's that, and just to add a little bit more interest to it, I'm going to round off this far left bottom corner. So there we go. And now I have two birthday cards to send out. Perfect. Um, with this card, I mix and matched. I used the U from Miss You with this sentiment. Life is better with friends from Hey You All. So now it says life is better with you and I created a romantic scene with the cityscape and two wood veneer people. The little hearts are from um, XOXO and I added glossy accents to them afterwards. So there you go. So why don't you give it a try and I hope you will link up to your cards where you altered the original sentiment or mix and match your sentiments and I would love to see them. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video.